Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers here in Monongahela, PA, and today we're taking a look at this 1985 Prowler 25N, and is a Nancy. That's 25 foot long camper. It's a bunkhouse trailer that we have for sale with a lot. Uh, this thing's in very good condition for being from 1985, and uh, I want to show you guys this thing. I did a video on this uh, last week, and I've done some repairs to it, additional, uh, and I'm going to continue to make some improvements on it to make it uh, really ready to go for the next owner and uh, it's just about ready for camping really um, I really would challenge you to find a more ready-to-go camper at the price point which this one is twenty seven fifty two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars uh, we do have a clean and clear title and I want to show you guys around this thing um, we updated the well it's got full propane tanks uh, put new hoses on it propane hoses so make sure there's no leaks and uh, the big thing was this corner was split I took it all apart and rebuilt all the wood in there and you know, I did it the right way as I'm accustomed to doing here if you want to check out my other videos on some of the repairs I do you can see that I try to do a nice job uh, so that's nice and sealed up and you won't have to worry about any water coming in uh, this unit has four new tires it shows very nice uh, this window here is still broken. I'm hoping to get to that this week. Uh, pull that out and put a new piece of glass in there at the hardware store. Uh, this trailer has a newer water heater. Uh, I'm not sure how much newer, but it's, I'd say, within the last 10 years, and it works great. It's a manual ignition, but it does fire right up. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I want to show you guys the roof of this. Okay, the roof, somebody put a rolled, uh, it's like an aluminum roof uh, material with very sticky tar uh, or adhesive underneath of it. And it actually, it's not made for an RV, but it really works great. This camper does not have any leaks and it's really sticky. I mean, it's on there. Uh, so it it's, seems to be a pretty good product. Uh, so you won't have to worry about the roof on this one. Uh, maybe paint it white just to deflect the sun something I like to do but for right now the roof is great uh, it does need that sewer cap right there I'm gonna go ahead and replace that as well for you for whoever buys it another thing we did put a new seven pin connector on here so the running lights and the brakes work great uh, everything working it's ready to tow down the road in that regard frame suspension chassis all very very good condition so let's check it out inside all right, inside the 85 Prowler, uh, this trailer is in very good condition. Ceiling's very nice. Uh, working roof air conditioner. Floor is very nice and solid. Nice kitchen area. Uh, lots of beds in this unit. This trailer sleeps uh, seven. That was a couch. Somebody made it a full-size bed. You could go back to a couch if you wanted. You see the ceiling is very nice. Uh, very seldom do we see a camper of this vintage or even newer uh, that has a nice all around all the roof vents and AC, no water damage. Nice bunk room here. So both of those fold down to make bunk beds. Uh, the refrigerator is not working. I want to clarify that non-working refrigerator. I may try to pull it out and burp it. I think it's the crystallized ammonia, but we'll see if I feel like doing that. It's kind of a pain. Uh, the furnace does work. So we have a nice propane forced air furnace working great. Uh, this has all LED lights. All these lights you see are, they're the warm white LED, which usually I put the cool white. I prefer that, but figured for this kind of vintage trailer, uh, the warm white would be appropriate and it's really nice so all the lights leds and we have a very nice bathroom very large for a camper shower very nice you don't see any of the water damage or no soft floors uh, this does have a residential toilet one place there is some softness is this rear ceiling here but it is nice and dry We've had a bit of a monsoon the last few days. Well, it's been dry the last couple days, but before that, man, it was insane. We had flooding and everything, uh, and this thing was bone dry. So that material that they used on the roof really did the trick. 
Uh, this is a nice camper. Uh, another soft spot real, real fast is, is right here. This wall needs some attention. Again, it is dry. Uh, so, I mean, it does need a little TLC, but it's just about ready to go uh, camping or take to your campsite that you already have and enjoy some summer memories. Uh, this unit weighs 4,300 pounds. If I said that, so it's relatively light for how large it is. Uh, being a bunkhouse, you know, it's a lot of open space. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We got a lot of great stuff coming down the line as far as campers go. That's a bunk bed up there too, by the way. So appreciate it again. Uh, like and subscribe. God bless.